is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus 12-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Punch over the top. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Finds a home for the left hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. A nice counter left hook. Misses with the right hand. Takedown lands. Under three minutes remain in round one. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Nice. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice punch by Obama Mercier. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal tonight. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Oh, Bon Mercier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. I mean, he's cutting down the sides with his beautiful leg kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Punch coming, it's blocked. Wait, no more strikes. Wait, no more, no more, no more, no more. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Okay, you ready, round two? Here we are, early round two. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Choi. And 
Both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful punch. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, beautiful placement there on the hook as he lands it again. Really a different round here, but same narrative. Same narrative, same result. And if he doesn't change something, he's gonna get put to sleep with a big hook. Over and over, he is taking him, and now he's starting to take him clean on the chin. Oh, Bob Mercier's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one up. Beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, and get back to position, posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to run. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? So Third nice round underway. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh! What a to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves oh. it. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks, and I know you like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here or what? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. The Korean Superboy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. And he landed the right hand there. defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect. Oh! Looked like it did stun him a little bit. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get into full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Back to the feet now. Oh, 
he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Obama Mercier. The Korean Superboy gets the tie clinch here. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 46 seconds of round number 3. You're playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. So the celebration is on with him and...